Hello guys, how are you? Today we will discuss about how to load two URLs in a single web view. Now start the project. I have created new project. Empty activity. Then I set my project name web view implementation. Finish. So go to XML file. I create two buttons that send two addresses to next activity. Send linear layout. And in linear layout, I set orientation vertical. Next, I create a button one, match parent, wrap content, ID, button one, and text is equal to Google URL. Okay, then okay, and second button match wrap id btn2 and text youtube url i created two buttons i created two buttons and name of first button is google url where i send the google address and second is youtube url where i send youtube url address now go to java file and button btn google btn youtube now find view by id button google is equal to find view by id r dot id dot btn1 and button youtube is equal to find view by id r dot id dot btn Two. Now BTN one, BTN Google. Google is wrong. DWGLE. 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 Dot set on. Click on new. On click list. Now use intent. First of all, I create an activity new activity empty activity main activity 2 ok now I use intent to move further and send some key value that represent which button is clicked intent i is equal to new intent main activity dot this main activity two dot class i dot put extra url and value is google start activity i now use this code for youtube copy and paste button youtube and URL is equal to value YouTube. Now, one main activity function has been completed. Now go to main activity two, where we receive some values. I have created strings. Remove the string. String temp. And get the value from previous activity. Get intent dot get string extra url this i sent from previous activity now i have get two values when button one is clicked i get google and then if button two is clicked then i get youtube so first if 
temp dot equals google if google button is clicked then i created a another string url so url is equal to https www.google.com else url is equal to https www.youtube.com okay i have paste url of those if google is clicked then url is equal to www.google.com and if youtube is clicked then www.youtube.com okay go to the xml file of activity main 2 where we create our web view i create relative layout and then web view match content match parent and id is equal to web view and i created our progress bar which shows the phone loading wrap wrap id progress bar and center in parent true progress bar is created and web view is created now connect to those main activity to web view web view and progress bar pb now web view is equal to find view by id or dot id dot web view and pb is equal to find view by id or dot id dot progress bar now initialize some values of web view first of all we create web, web setting is equal to web setting web view dot get settings okay and dot set cache mode because we use two urls so if we load first url of google then at the end we use youtube url to so so this will save the cache mode of both urls setting dot load cache else network okay next we use web settings dot set app cache enable cache cache path that is get application context dot get cache directory dot to string this will save the cache path to the directory of the folder next web setting dot set cache enabled set app cache enabled true next web view your web setting dot set cache cache mode and in your cache mode web settings dot load default web settings 
dot load default default url it will be loaded and then web settings dot get javascripts enabled sorry get javascript can be open automatically okay in next this final activity activity is equal to this we take the activity of this to another activity it means that we initialize the activity of current activity next web view dot set web chrome client new web chrome client okay next we use some values of web view client is that public void on progress on progress changed web view dot web view view comma in progress now it means activities and web views measures progress with different scales the progress meter will automatically disappear when we reach 100% so activity dot set progress and progress multiply by 100 okay now further we move web view dot set web view client web view client new web view client okay in this we use on received error if error occurs public void on received on received error web view view comma in error code comma string description description and string filling url failing url okay mistake received spelling okay in this we use toast activity or oh no plus the error description toast dot length is already defined okay and in this we set progress bar p b dot set visibility gone okay now another function is 
on page started on page started function in this function super and progress pb dot set visibility gone this will occur when page started and we are and our progress bar is visibility gone next on page finished in this we all we have to also pb dot set visibility gone okay next we use try cache to load our url web view dot load url and we have url of this okay now use cache exception e e dot print stack trace okay and if url is not matched then progress will also be visibility gone if our web view has multiple pages and we use back press then what we have to initialize so we use a method of on key down on key down is a method in which bottom key is pressed or back press which use we set a condition if key code key code is equal equal to key event dot key code back okay if back key is pressed and 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 this dot web view dot can go back if two condition is correct then we use this dot web view dot go back okay return true okay oh sorry we forget to take the permission set permission internet permission if you cannot set internet permission then your web view is not loaded uses permission internet okay now install the application Okay, two buttons is displayed. I'll check Google URL. Google is loaded. If I check YouTube URL, YouTube is also loaded. Okay, program is correctly run. I want to remove the title bar of this, so we use go to main activity two and set here get sport. bar dot height okay now run the project again now google url and our title bar is removed tutorial is done if you have any query then comment Thank you.